Hello and welcome to day eight of the Halloween craft countdown from Craft with Sarah. In this video, I'll show you how to make these really cute little paper pumpkins for fall. This is an easy craft, which would be great for kids to get involved with. And you do not need a Cricut or cutting machine to make them. They can be made in all different sizes based on the type of paper that you have. And I'll show you in a moment what size paper makes which size pumpkin. Let's find out how to make them. Here's the equipment that you'll need to make these paper pumpkins. I've got some strips of orange card, which I'll come to in a minute, and a little scrap of green card. I've got some brads, any design will do, any color, because we are gonna cover it up so it won't actually be seen. I've got some leaves, now I got these online from um, a website called Every Crafts a Pound. It's kind of a, um, a shop that kind of doesn't keep its stock around very long. So they, I don't think they're available to buy now, but you can get them online in lots of different places. Or of course you could cut them out with your Cricut, cut out some leaf shapes, or if you've got a punch, then you could use that instead. But I'm gonna use these just because I have lots of them. <laughs> Um, the other thing you'll need is a pair of scissors and uh, something sharp to poke a little hole through the bits of orange card and then something to do the poking on. So this is an old piece of packaging foam that I use. It just stops my work surface being damaged when that goes in. And then finally, you will need a glue gun. I've got mine just off camera. It is heating up. It looks pretty hot because it's leaking. I've got it on an um, old chopping board just in case it does leak, which it is. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make the medium-sized pumpkin from the examples I showed you a moment ago. And for this, I have a three card. And I've cut them into one and a half inch strips. And then this is the length of the A3 paper or cardstock. And I've got six of them in total. To make the smaller pumpkins that you saw in the beginning, use the long side of A4 or US letter paper instead. And then cut that to um, either one inch or one and a half inch, depending on how thick you want to make the strips. And then for... Those pumpkins, I also used um, six pieces of card, I think, or I might have used four. I'll double check that for you in a moment. But for the medium one, we're going to be using six strips. For the large pumpkin that I showed you at the beginning, I actually cut the strips from A4 paper and then use double-sided tape to stick two together like this to make a really long strip. And then I used 10 different strips to make that larger pumpkin. But as I said, it is the same technique. So I will show you what you do. First, we need to poke the holes in the end and I'm gonna use my weeding tool from my Cricut machine. So just one little hole in each of the strips. Let's get these all lined up. And I'm going about kind of half a centimetre in from the edge. Enough that you're not going to accidentally kind of break it. And then turn it over and do the other sides as well. So just another hole. You want to make it quite a big hole because we need to feed that brad through it in a moment. There we go. So now I can move my foam away and position the strips. So we're putting them in a cross shape first and then cross over like this. So this is four strips. So actually that is what I did with the smaller pumpkins. I used four strips. For this one, I'm gonna use six. So I'm also going to just cross again and move these around so that they're all kind of evenly spaced. Next, take a brad. And then hold it so that you've got the pointy bits facing upwards. Take the strip, which is at the bottom, fold one of the halves up, 
and then just thread your brad through it. And then we'll do the same with the other side of that same strip. Take the opposite strip that goes in the opposite direction and then do the same thing and poke it onto that brad as well. Then take one of the diagonal ones, let's poke it on there, my hole on that one's a bit small, and then find its opposite side and then keep going until you've connected all of the strips. You might need to push them around a bit to make sure they're all going to fit. And you could use less strips, but if you use less, you don't get such a filled in pumpkin effect. And in my opinion, it doesn't quite look as good. So that's why I have the six strips for this one. You might need to maneuver the pieces around, but now here is my last bit to feed on. There we go. And now with that still held in tight, I'm gonna close the brad up. And now that has sealed all of those little bits of paper in place. I'm just gonna push it down a little bit to give it a bit of bend. And that is the base of the pumpkin. Next, it's time to make the little stem to go on top. So take some scrap green or brown card. You don't need very much, just a little rectangle. And roll it up. Again, you don't need to be very um, accurate. And then I like to kind of let it unravel a bit so it gets a little bit messy looking. And then that's gonna go on there. I think mine's a bit tall, so cut a bit off. There we are. Okay, so here is my glue gun. It's got a really thin cord on it, so I'm not quite sure how far I'll be able to reach it in shot, but it looks like it'll work. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue along the side of that green and stick it together and then bring the pumpkin back in and I'm going to put glue all over where the brad is and then stick the, uh, the stem on top. So will it reach? It will, excellent -y. Nice dollop of glue. You want to put quite a lot on so that it's really going to hold the stem in place on top of that brad. Whilst that's just setting a moment, let's get out some leaves. These packs are nice because they have them in all different colours. So I've got a green, a yellow and a red leaf. And then simply add a bit of glue gun around the edge and then press the leaf into place. I'm getting a little glue, glue gun strings, that's hard to say. Glue gun strings everywhere. <laughs> I'm not very, um, I don't use glue guns a lot. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side so that that other half of the brad is covered up. Here it is. Let's go for a red leaf. Let's put that in there. One more bit of glue. Which side shall I do? This side, I think. So I'm going to put that on top of the two leaves that are already there. And then I've got another stringy bit. Any tips for not getting stringy bits, leave them in the comments. <laughs> Let's put my third leaf there. And there we go, that is my little pumpkin all done. So you can see they're really quick and easy to make. You don't need a lot of equipment to do them. If you don't have a glue gun, then um, you could use any kind of glue to put your leaves on or you could use double-sided tape maybe. There are lots of different options you can choose. And if you don't have any brads to go through the card, you could try again gluing the bits together 
or taping them or even um, maybe tying them together with a little bit of string or thread. There are lots of different options you can do based on what you have in your home to make these little pumpkins. And I know you're not supposed to do this with them because they are decorative, but they're really fun to just kind of push down and watch pop. I might possibly have been playing with these all afternoon. But they're really cute and um, they're going to look great in my living room all together in all the different colours and sizes. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make these adorable little paper pumpkins for fall. If you make a whole little collection like I've got going on, it makes the perfect fall decor for your home this year. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any of this year's Halloween craft countdown, Go to craftwithsarah.com forward slash Halloween 2021 to sign up for free. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.